So I'm in a, a defeat at Warrington. 3 0, it wasn't really a 3 0 game, was it? No, it wasn't. You know, it, they've scored an early goal, um, do what they do well, and they got a ball in the box, scored early, and then we're probably chasing it um, most of the second half. I thought first half was pretty even. Chasing it second half, we're on a, we're on a counter, and we're, um, we were on the attack, and then they've gone up and scored. It's not a penalty, but you know, it, it doesn't matter now. They've got the penalty and they scored it. So um, they've gone 2 0, and then it's very hard to break down that they're good at what they do and defend well. I mean, you don't have to say anything, but the, the whole game management that, that Warrington did, fair enough. But when, when a referee's not sort of aware or standing up to it and just letting it happen, the game stop, start, stop, start, the ball's not in play, time wasting. It, it's really frustrating when you, you, you're beaten by a really good side, but you're beaten by a good side that have done a few things they probably didn't need to do. Yeah, you know, I'll, there's no point me mentioning them. I'll be, I'll be the bitter loser and all that, you know, credit to them. They beat us 3 0, so there's no point me moaning about it. But what you're saying is right you know i'm not gonna but it's the ref it's the ref job to sort of manage that you know slowing the game up throwing on balls that are punctured you know that kind of cape is not for me really but that's that's up to them they can do it and they've won three nil so they'll just turn on and sort of tell me to shut up but it, it, it was not what i would do and then it, as you said it's the official's job to stop that um and i thought they were poor again i thought they were really really bad and you know <laughs> Wallington were claim, shouting for everything and I think the ref got caught up in that and was just giving lots of free kicks. The whistle was always in his mouth because he was playing up to that constant sort of drama really. And I don't know, it wasn't much of a game, was it? Um, and it never got started and we've probably come to try and play football. We wanted to play football, but they've stopped us doing that and that's 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 entirely their sort of choice to do that and they're very successful at it over the years. So um, we can't complain. We've got to be better and more streetwise for next time we come up against it. I say, have we got to be, I don't know, have we got to be not prepared, but have we got to try and find something to, to counter that when teams are doing in playing like that. Yeah, we we've just gotta be we've warned the lads, you know it's coming, but at the moment the lads are full of confidence and you know and playing well and they're scoring goals and they thought they would just turn up, I think. It's a subconscious thing, no one means it. I've played again in teams where you're winning four on the spin, you're scoring lots of goals, you think we'll come and do the same and Warrington's just sort of said you're not doing that today. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll be physical, we'll be aggressive, we'll do all the basics of non-league football and they did that very well and that's, that's why they won the game. And It's for us to learn, there's a, quite a newish group of young lads in there and they'll learn an awful lot from that. And I just said to make sure next time we're in that situation, we're more streetwise, we play the ref, we appeal for everything. You know, I'm not going to go throwing flat footballs on, that's just not me, I'm not going to do that. I don't need to win an NPL game that much, we all want to win, but I'm, I'm not going to resort to that to, to, for three points. You know, there's still there's still a sort of conduct of good football and sportsmanship and stuff, so we're not going to do that, but um, we just need to be more streetwise, like I said, yeah, not everyone's going to come and let you play football, and I thought, especially our attacking players, they thought they could just go out and play ball, and it didn't work that way, so, yeah, we'll be much more switched on next time we play a team like Warrington, and hopefully we'll see a, a better performance when we're in that situation. I think it was frustrating, obviously, the second half, we were in the, in the ascendancy, we were on the attack, um, but then sort of the second goal did sort of kill us really. But we can we can say it wasn't a penalty, and then but it's happened, didn't it really? Yeah, fine margins I think today, and that way when you play teams like Warrington, the way they play it is fine margins in the way they play. They, you know, I know it's three nil, and it looks like a battering, but it isn't, and they never really go and batter you anyway. They kind of score and they're hard to beat, and you know, Wedge has just hit one wide, which he probably should hit the target with. He's doing exactly the same. <laughs> Ten minutes later, and he's held his hands up, and he's he's just dilly dallied on the ball and lost it gone up the other end and you know no one thinks it's a pen but it is a pen and it's too late you know, suddenly they're 2-0 and that's really ruthless from them if you like um, and we have to deal with that but the game just got away from us in the end but at 1-0 we looked like the team that were going to score and we were really starting to put pressure on them and soft second goals killed the game. Just a word on also travelling sport today and a really good number of fans there and they were obviously very cool in sport and scene. Yeah, excellent. You know, made a huge difference. Disappointed that we couldn't give them the result, and, and I feel from that, and you know, need them to keep coming and supporting us. I know it's an easy thing to say, but we do. And you know, a tough game coming to Warrington. I know we've been on a good run, but it was tough. And for 70, 75 minutes at one 0 we're, we're giving the right go against, like I said, a very good team that do well consistently year in, year out. So keep coming, you know. And on another day against a lesser opposition today, we'd have probably won again. But um, keep supporting the lads. They're really appreciated. And they're just disappointed they've let them down. Really, we wanted to come and get you know, an equaliser or maybe go and win the game and feel a bit disappointed we've let them down and they're starting to turn up because we've won games and, you know, we, we feel that pressure that we need to keep going, but stick with us and, you know, th there's a good team in there and I think they've just been out-thought and out, you know, out-battled, out, out if you like, a little bit of, a bit of naivety to our play. I think we've had quite a few Tuesday games, but now we don't have a Tuesday game, we've got a full week 
to, you know, to, to rest up, prepare and, and get on the training pitch ready for Banderbridge. Yeah, of all the weeks, you probably want a Tuesday game, it'd be this week, but no, it'll, it'll do us good long term to have that week. And, you know, we had the incident with Liam not being able to play yesterday. And I don't know, I just think when you're Saturday to Saturday, you, you're a good time to organise yourselves, get people fit. If you need to bring players in and things, you just you just have a bit more time to do that. Players get a chance to, to have a breather and can put a lot more into your Saturday games without the Tuesday. So, listen, we've done well. We're pleased. We've been on a good little run. It's important we bounce back next week, but another good team, Brigger, Brigger sort of flying. Jamie Milligan's doing a great job there with, with the resources he's got and it'll be another tough game but they will come and play football so hopefully we'll you know we'll have an entertaining game next week and we can get back getting some points. Also just a word on Liam, I think you know, everyone was you know, disappointed and looking forward to him coming back and obviously had the news uh, yesterday that he wasn't able to come back. Yeah, silly rule really, the EFL the year before was fine with that rule this year, they haven't granted it where if you get called back for your pro team you can go back on non-league loan which is bizarre because all they're, all they're doing really is stopping a young boy play football so all they've heard is Liam I know he can go on loan somewhere else but he was settled he was enjoying it he had a couple of clean sheets that kind of thing and he, he's pretty disappointed so you know well done the EFL you've just stopped a young boy playing football <laughs> that's, that's all they've achieved we've managed to speak to Liam um, and I know he's, he's put on social media that he, he really enjoyed his, his, his months up here yeah he was gutted and you know he, he'd been playing well and today you know he, he might have been in in net playing in this game and it might have been a good learning curve for him and it might have been good for us and all this kind of stuff and he's just devastated and again Accrington, um, Jed Brannan who I speak to there at, at Accrington just dumbfounded by it like we well, yeah, are what, what's the point you know a bit of silly paperwork a silly rule and you're stopping a young boy play football so you know like I said well done to the EFL and just stopping a young boy have a chance of playing football. He, he didn't even feature on Tuesdays on the bench we've, we've never had any rule like that explained to us especially from the EFL. Just daft. If it is a rule, he needs scrapping because it's daft. You know, the boys got called up because they've had an international call up. He was always going there for one game to cover on the bench and come back. And like I said, you stopped him today playing a good game of football. Um, who wins with that? You know, who, nobody wins. Accrington wanted to play for us. They're happy he's out playing games. The boys are loving it. We're getting a good young keeper and, and the EFL stop it. So it's daft. And, you know, he probably isn't on the bench for them today. I don't know. If they're playing, might even be called off with internationals, but he'll just go back to under 23s football, which, which you know, isn't any good to anyone. That's why they're all getting sent to us because it's it's a bit of a you know waste of time. The 23s, hence why we have these boys on loan. So nobody's done him any favours, and it's it's just really sad for Liam. And finally, are you sort of in the process of working on any more additions to the squad? No, I think the lads have been good. You know, we we we're seven now. We won five out of seven. Uh, we played well, and we played well again today. We've just lost to a, a better team, a good team that do what they do very, very well. And like I said, I think of well, they've been in the playoffs the last four years. One year they should have gone up in that super playoff. So coming up against a very strong team. Um, I just thought they had a bit more nous than us. Um, certainly in the in the last 20, 25 minutes when we're chasing an equaliser, we should have been a bit more balanced in doing that. We've got ourselves caught out and then you go 2-0 down here, you don't come back because they give you very little. And their two centre halves were excellent. They headed everything away and had an answer to all our attacking play. So it's for us to, to keep going. We can really do any more. I think I think we've got as good a team as we're going to get with what we can spend and stuff and, and they've done well and they've represented the club really well in the last six games and you know for where we are in the league I'm, I'm really pleased at this at this stage of the season uh, we've got a tough game and you know we've got to come here today and we have Brig who are up there next week so it's a it's a challenge all the time and, and I think we've turned the corner I think there's a good set of lads if we need to bring someone in somewhere we'll do it but you know I think I think they deserve a bit of a crack at it um, it's no point now sort of taking people out of it because they've lost today. We'll stick together, keep working hard and just, I've said, it's a, it's a learning curve for all of us. Uh, it really is, you know. Me and Steve look at it and think, you know, we were ambitious today playing an extra attacker. Do we look at ourselves in that respect and do we start screaming for every appeal on the line? I don't know. It's not really what I want to do, but I think we'll all go away and lick our wounds and think, what can we do to be more Warrington-esque if you want? Because whatever they do works for them.